Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be discussing about O2 authentication in Bruno. At its core, O2.0 is an authorization framework that enables an application to obtain limited access to a user's data on a third-party service without ever exposing the user's credentials. Instead, it relies on access tokens, short-lived credentials that grant specific permissions for a limited time. Bruno mainly supports three grant types for O2 authentication. The first one is authorization code, second one is client credentials, third one is password credentials. In this demo, I will be using client credentials grant type. So this is the API URL that we will be using in the demo. Next, we have to add some configuration. The first configuration value is access token URL, the endpoint to exchange the code for a token. This is the access token URL value. I will be sharing all these details in the video description. Second one is client ID. It is the application's client ID. So the value is this one. Next one is client secret. It's the application's client secret. So this will be the value for that one. Next one is scope. So this is the requested scope. So this is the value for that one. And there is one add credentials to as well. So we are choosing how to send the credentials. Is it via request body or header? We can choose that in the configuration in Bruno. Now I am going straight to the demo. I have already opened Bruno. For this particular demo, I have created one collection called O2.0. I have created one get request. The name is get token. Here the base URL value is coming from the environment which I have created. The environment name is prod. I will show the details of the environment. Just click on this drop down. Click on configure. I have created one variable called base URL and its value is this one. Later I am referring that value here. Now I am sending this request without adding the O2 authentication details. In that case, we will be getting 401 unauthorized status code with this particular error. So now we have to add the O2 authentication details. We can add this at three levels. First one is collection settings level, second one is folder level, third one is request level. I am going to add the O2 authentication details at the collection level. To do that, I am clicking on these three dots. Click on settings. Go to Auth tab. Select O2.0. Change the grant type to client credentials. In the configuration bar, just use the access token your value. I am copying the value from here. Next one is client ID. This is a client ID value. Next one is client secret. This is a client secret value. Next one is scope. This is the value. I am changing this drop down value to URL from headers. Right now, there is no token generated. You can see that no token found. I am clicking on this get access token. You can see that token fetch successful adversary is coming. That means you have generated the token with this configuration details. And you can see the access token value coming here. Now I am going to save this O2 configuration details in the collection settings. I have saved that one. Now the next important step is in the get token request the O tab, it will be automatically inherited. Make sure you are inheriting that one. If it is not inherited, this particular request will not be working. In case of collection settings, we have to make sure that we are inheriting the authentication from the collection settings. For each individual request, otherwise the authentication mechanism which we have added at the collection settings levels will not work. Here it has inherited automatically. Now I am going to send this particular request. You can see that we have got the JSON response with 200 status code. So this is how you can achieve O2 authentication mechanism in Bruno. 
So I hope uh, this session was very useful for everyone. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing the channel. Please like, share and comment on the video in case of any queries. Thanks for watching and keep learning.